So today and this week, we're going to talk to you about, I'm going to talk to you about music and why music is important. Music is a very, very important part of my life um, for lots of different reasons. My children were very musical. I was not. I could dance. I was a dancer, but I could not play any instruments and I was always very, very envious of my friends that could play instruments. And I have a lot of them. I have a lot of very musical friends. Um, we talked before about how for your mental health you need to find an outlet for your stress and your anxiety and also your happiness. So, and music definitely is a way to do that. Um, I'm wearing my drumline shirt because my son played in the Woodstone High School drumline and that, I literally fell in love with those competitions. That was so much fun. It helped with um, competitiveness and companionship and um, teamwork and he learned all of those things from the drumline but it also was so soothing and fun and, and it gave us uh, something different to look forward to every weekend and we really enjoyed it. Music is a very, it should be a very important part of children's lives because there's a lot of super benefits to it. So number one is brain power. So we talked last week when we were making dough about how those synapses in your brain need to connect. Believe it or not, music is one of those ways that it does that. It is a proven statistical fact that children that have more music education learn more and quicker and at a better pace. I don't know. Music just is the way that you, it helps those synapses connect in your brain and your brain learns music and learns from music and connects things to music. It develops social skills. So like I said, my son was kind of shy and he had a little bit of a hard time entering high school and that the band saved him. And it's a great way. Obviously, all of the instruments need to play together for it to make sense. There's also other social skills that it helps with, like working hard, like practicing. Like those are all things that we don't really think of as social skills, but they are. Because learning how to do that, learning how to practice anything is super, super important in life. Right? You can't do anything super good the first time you do it. You always have to learn how to work hard and how to practice. And so that's one thing that it gives you, definitely. It builds confidence. Now, I cannot tell you what it must feel like. I can tell you what it feels like when you practice and practice and practice a dance and then you finally get it correct. That I know that feeling. I don't know the feeling of being able to play a whole song on anything, but I know that it gives you a sense of confidence, of accomplishment. So you need to be able to read the music and that, or hear the music. Some people can just play from here um, and then play that song. And when you can play that song, it's such a feeling of accomplishment. So on the guitar video, so I'm actually gonna put this video, this particular video, why music is beneficial, I'm gonna put up every day in the slideshow just so that you can listen to it. If you don't wanna to listen to all of the videos, you can listen to the video, um, this bit, part of the video about why music is beneficial. But in the guitar video, my friend Miss Kate also suffers from a lot of anxiety and, has, and struggles a bit and music is by far her outlet and she it gives her such confidence and it, it helps her gain um, such self-esteem. So I hope that music does that for you as well. So you are going to make quite a few instruments. So the next one we're gonna talk about is creativity. So this week what we're gonna do is we are going to make instruments, one instrument per day, um, that, out of different everyday materials. Um, just for fun, just for fun. Um, I'm also gonna put up videos with those that you can play along with, like you can play your instrument along with after you make your instrument. Um, these are just fun activities using materials that you already have to show you that music doesn't necessarily have to be a super expensive thing. Um, and we talked about creativity before. Creativity 
is the way that you express yourself. So everybody needs to have some form of a way to express yourself. And normally, this is really a cool thing, normally when you're really good at one thing, that it helps you in all other fields. So for instance, my son who went to and played in the band and became very good at the drum line and gained some confidence, then became really good at graphic art and became really good at photography. And so things that started rolling, he started finding other outlets for his creativity. So that will happen as well. Just like my friend Mrs. Bevilacqua is the most amazing artist I've ever seen, but she also has an eye for other things like interior design and things like that. So that's that's how you express yourself is very, very important. Patience. Okay, I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm not fantastic with patience. I'm not. I try really, really hard and I love teaching, but sometimes, you know, your patience is how much you can deal with at one time. Like you're like, oh. The thing with music is that's what it teaches you. Because it is very soothing, while you're playing it, even if you're not really good at it the first couple times, it teaches you patience. It will come. The music will come to you. You will figure it out. And that's a really important, important, important life skill. So these are why we're gonna do music. We're gonna do it because you're gonna get more, some more brain power. You're gonna do it because you're gonna develop social skills. You're gonna do it because it builds confidence and patience and perseverance and hard work, and it's creative. So please enjoy these videos this week. It is going to be super fun. Hopefully you'll have a whole band by the end of the week. All right, I'll see you in a little bit to do our first instrument. Hi, I'm Aaron Bland on behalf of Expert Village and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about the, uh, the history and construction of maracas. Uh, this is a Brazilian instrument and uh, actually comes from the word maraca from the Tupi tribe in southwestern Brazil. Uh, traditionally these were made of uh, dried calabash or gourd or coconut shells and uh, filled with dried beans or seeds and pretty much put on a stick. That's what your maraca is, is pretty much a, a shaker on a stick. It's a, it's a rattle, more or less. Baby's first instrument right here. Now most of these today are made of plastic just for their durability. And inside they've got uh, either plastic pellets or uh, plastic kind of cylindrical shaped things. And you know, I've opened up a couple of these and it's really a total mystery depending on what the manufacturer puts in it. Um, I wouldn't recommend trying it unless you're just that curious and want to buy another set of maracas. But I've got these cool plastic ones and uh, they totally do the trick. A lot of times one will be a little bit higher in pitch than the other either because they're tuned that way or because no two coconuts were made exactly the same way. Um, but either way. Here this one's got a little bit of a, a higher pitch to it, just for uh, some distinction. I've also got a uh, smaller set of maracas that I'm going to demonstrate uh, later as well. Again, a higher pitch than the, uh, than the bigger sounding maracas, or the bigger maracas, lower pitched sounding maracas.
hello again. So you have seen lots of different stuff about maracas. I did have that really good video about like the history of maracas and there was the cute video on how to make them out of water bottles. Um, I'm gonna show you a super easy way to make them from stuff that you definitely probably have around your house. Um, these are so fun and they're, they're beautiful and colorful and you can uh, make them at any time. And these are great, like they have, these have two different sounds because just like the tambourine, what do you think? They have two different things in them. Um, but they're they're fun and I want you uh, to make these because these are, these are definitely one of my favorite instruments that you can make super easy. So I told my kids at school uh, every year that these things, these plastic eggs that you get at the dollar store for Easter time are probably literally the best investment ever. You can make so many things out of these and they're super handy and useful. Um, in another video, I'm gonna show you how to make, um, how to use these to make uh, bath bombs. Yeah, because they can be used as molds. Um, same thing for ice, like if you wanted to do um, like a little treasure hunt, you put something in there, put put water in there, unless they have the holes in them. This one happens to have the holes in them. These do not, don't ask me why, two different kinds. But if they don't have the holes in them, you can use them as almost like ice cubes, trays. And then you can put stuff in there and then you can, you know, have a little, little dinosaur egg hunt and, and take it out. But I'm gonna show you how to make maracas. So it's very simple. This one actually has beans in it, um, which is why it's loud. Um, but listen, I'll show you. So you just put whatever you want in it. This one has beans in it. Um, this one I'm going to put rice because you know I love this handy dandy rice. Again, best investment ever. You make lots of things out of it. Rice is one of those super cool uh, products that you should have around. Cornstarch, shaving cream, rice, right? And then you're going to, we're going to tape it shut so it does not. Oh, with my backing tape, also super useful tool, right? So I'm gonna put this, just put this around it so that the rice does not come out or it doesn't pop open while I'm trying to show you the rest of it. All right, here comes the super hard part. You need two plastic spoons. Doesn't matter what color, doesn't matter, it doesn't really even matter what size. Like if you buy the extra large ones, this the egg, as long as the egg fits in between, you're good to go. And then you are going to take these together like this, like so. And then you're gonna have these super cool maracas. I have to tell you that, and then they, they have this marvelous sound. I don't know if it's because of whatever is in it. it goes with the wonderful, and I'm gonna take the, the handle down together so the spoons do not move apart. Um, again, if you have that beautiful duct tape, if you have like pretty colored duct tape like this, wonderful thing to do as well is to put it at least around the handle. It doesn't really, I like the, so I mismatched my eggs on these because I like the effect of the colors, um, but this, this one obviously is plain. But so this, because this one is plain, I think I am gonna add a little of the duct tape and I think it will probably change the sound a little bit. Let's say if I do that, if I keep this the scissors are behind me. Ugh. Cut a piece of duct tape. I put some duct tape around the top and around the bottom. Maybe. Maybe if I get the duct tape off. I'm gonna put it a little bit around the top and see if it changes the sound. I don't really know. I didn't really try it. So that's the part I love about science is that's the important part is to try new things and see if it works. Maybe not. I should have gotten the adult scissors. Let's see. Looks beautiful. Let's see. We tie dye, we love tie dye, because I told you love rainbow colors. All right, so this one has rice in it. Let's listen. 
a thing. Not too much, not too much. It doesn't really dull the, it doesn't really dull the sound. A little bit maybe. You try it, you see what, what you think. Um, obviously if you put something different in it, it sounds a lot different, right? This one's actually got a lot of beans in it too. If you only put a couple in it, it also sounds very different. So it depends upon what you fill it with, with what the pitch and the sound, the sound changes are. So I would like you to try it, to make some maracas. This is a really fun um, craft and it goes really quick and it's really fast. Yeah, look, I'm gonna take some beans out of it and I'll show you that the sound changes. Maybe, now I gotta get it back together. There we go. Listen, see how different it sounds? Because it has like more room in there to move around. It depends upon what kind of sound you want. That's the whole entire point of all of these videos, right? Is for you to make the instruments that make you happy, that lift your spirit, that show your creativity. Have a great time, maracas. I like to save this one for Fun Friday only because I love a good party and maracas are a great party instrument. Have a great time, bye. Okay, so why music? Why, why did I choose that for a theme for a week? Why did we go over all different kinds of instruments and how it would be really important for you to play those instruments? Why music? Well, there are lots of reasons why music is one of the most important things in our life. Not just music class, not just certain instruments, but music in general. Um, there's lots of benefits to music that for humans in general. One of the things is that you can choose your own genre. There are many different types of music. So I happen to like, I have my Kane Brown shirt on, I happen to like so many different types of music and I listen to them for different reasons. Um, but I will talk about that in one minute. So music is important. Here are some of the reasons why music is just one of the most important things in our lives. First of all, it can lift someone's mood. So you know you've had those days where you just didn't feel good and you didn't feel like doing anything and you didn't feel like going to school and, and then you got in the car and you heard your very favorite song, right? And you're like dancing around in the car with your mom and you think it's so funny. Yes, that's exactly what it's for. It's to lift your mood. Um, this has happened to me. So my friends and I, we do this thing, we call Dance It Out. And if we are really miserable, and I'm being really miserable because grownups get really grumpy too. Don't let them kid you. If when we're really grumpy, then we literally put all put the same song on that we listened to in high school and we jump around and act stupid and send each other videos. And it's fun. It literally just lifts your mood. And that is one thing that music absolutely can do for you. Everyone understands it. So here's the thing. It doesn't matter what country you go to, what place you're at, what college you go to, what school you go to. It makes no difference. Everybody understands music. It's a universal language. It's um, music, when you hear music, it's like communicating in a way that maybe you couldn't do before. Focus. I know this doesn't seem logical, but this is really true. Music helps you focus. So when I was teaching writer's workshop all the time, I would always put on very low Beethoven music and that would make them realize that it was time for them to focus. For the, so for the entire time they were writing, I would just play that classical music in the background. It does, music makes you focus. It's why people listen to it while they're doing football practice. It's why people in the gym always have their headphones in because it makes you focus on whatever it is that you're doing. It's a cool trait, right? It's because you're using your sense of hearing and it makes your brain stimulated at the same time. So it does help you focus. So here's another good tip, kids. When you are studying for a test, listen to some kind of music that makes you 
um, relax. Now, it doesn't have to be classical music. That's just what I did for my kids at school. But you can do, you can listen to any kind of music. So if you have some nice, soothing music that you're used to listening to, then use that and study while you're doing it. And then if you hum that tune, all that information comes back to you. Because again, remember all those things in your brain are, we're trying to connect. And if you connect music to something that you're supposed to be learning, it helps you focus. I know it doesn't sound logical, but it is actually a true thing that music helps you focus. Connects with emotions. Okay, so now this is funny. This week is graduation, right? It doesn't matter if I know anybody graduating. It doesn't matter what. If I hear that pop and circumstances that da, na, 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 na. yeah, I cry every time. Every time. It's because it connects with my emotions. It's because when people are graduating and they're leaving, it connect. It makes me. It makes me sad and happy all at the same time, and I cry. It happens all the time. Same thing with the wedding march. The mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I only have to hear it a little bit, start to cry, because it is connecting with my emotions. Here's another thing. Um, if any event has happened to you, that especially if it's not like a good event, like if somebody's sick or something happened, something tragic happened, you will always remember what song was playing. I, it's, it connects with your emotions. You connect things with music. <clears throat> but in a lot of ways, it's a good way. It's a good thing. So sometimes you've heard that song, that like inspirational song, like the, you know, roar or something that makes you think um, good, positive thoughts that also connects with your emotions. So it's an interesting thing that, that music does that. And it's a powerful thing. You can use um, music to get through certain emotions. Build imagination. Okay, this is a good one because I need for you to understand how your brain develops and how it works. So this is one thing that is absolutely true. If you close your eyes and you listen to those lyrics or just the melody that's underneath, you will imagine a story. Right. This is what I tell you about creative writing all the time is that it, it's all about doing like a movie in your head and then getting that down on paper. Music will help you do that. Music helps build your imagination. It helps your mind to create pictures that go along with the sound and the melody. Got it? So it builds your imagination. That's again another way that music is working toward your brain power. That's what we talked about earlier. Why why music is good for kids? Because it builds brain power. How? Because it builds imagination and it connects and it helps you focus. Connects to memories. I don't know if this has ever happened to you before, but let's say you and your best friend had one of those nights where you giggled all night long and you kept playing the same song over and over again. Every single time you hear that song, you will start giggling, right? Yeah. It happens all the time. It's because it connects to memories. You connect whatever music was playing. Same thing, like my wedding song, it, it's still every single time, it brings forth that whole like, oh, I loved my wedding, it was so wonderful. Or what, I know, I remember what song was playing when, um, my, when I had my first baby, my husband was playing music and I can remember what song was playing. So those are things, it just automatically it connects with your memories. Pleasure. Shouldn't we do things that are just fun? Yeah, and music does that. And you get to decide what kind of music you like. It could be R&B music, it could be country music, it could be rap music, it could be any classical music, it could be jazz music, it could be any genre you want. One other thing about memories, the good thing is also, so my dad listened to old time uh, Motown and whenever I miss him a lot, that's what I do. I go and I play that music and sing along and I remember, because it also connects with memories, emotions and memories, and I remember all of the good times. So those are, those are reasons why you should, you should play music. 
You should play music every single day in your life because it helps with all of these things. This is how it develops your, your, your mind. It helps lift your moods. It helps everyone understand. It helps you focus. It connects with your emotions and your memories. It builds your imagination and it's fun. So please, my friends, listen to some music. Make some of these instruments. Have a good time playing with the YouTube videos and trying to play along with them. Whether you make a guitar or a drum or a rain stick or a tambourine or maracas, those are all the instruments that we're making. You can have some fun with music for pleasure and you can make some memories doing all of these fun things with music. All right, have a wonderful week.